I'm going to break this down for you and hopefully give you some, you know, information that you can use. And if you got time, you know, spend a little time and go ahead and set yours up. Uh, okay. So now let me go here. I'm going to go to the dashboard and this is the dashboard. So once you sign up and you click on, you know, you sign in, this is going to be the first sheet that you see. Okay. Now here in the dashboard, I'm going to go through the little things with you and kind of just orientate you to it, okay? So up here, this is your current list, okay? Now, it's important to have uh, a few different lists. I mean, because customers, as far as in my business, they come in different ways. Sometimes, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're barbering customers. So I'm gonna deal with that in one way. Maybe they're, they're people who come to my classes those things are different and what i need to know from them is different also for example with the classes i need to know what state they're coming from we we, we go to a lot of different states but we advertise nationally so we figure out where to go based off of what states are coming back with high numbers that gives us an indication that hey they might like us over there and let's go see what we can do okay um now let's walk through this Okay, so first step, we're at the dashboard, okay? Now I want you to go to over here to, here's your list. Now this will show some of the lists that I have, okay? So this was a uh, one we built yesterday. I did a web class and Corona weekend updates. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need any many more updates on that, okay? Uh, and other little things that I've created, okay? Uh, and lists that I wanna deal with. We're gonna create a new list today. We're gonna call this, uh, let's go to manage list and this is a, another view of that. Okay, so manage list and this gives us the full view It'll tell you how many people are in there. Okay, uh, it'll give us Who unsubscribed luckily I don't have a lot of unsubscribers over here. Okay, and it lets you basically keep up with everything on that Okay, now that's important because you're gonna need to know where they go uh, Later on, but we'll talk about that. Okay, so here Let's do the first thing that we need to do because in order to get this whole thing started out, we need a list, right? We need a master list. So let's create that, okay? This is gonna be our master list. So let's go to create list, click on that. Okay, now we're gonna create the list. Now this is the little one we were playing around with yesterday. Okay, so I don't know why I misspelled Corona. <laughs> I've drank enough Coronas to know the name. <laughs> okay, so let's call this one test list for Zoom, okay? Test list for Zoom. That's gonna be our list. I'm gonna leave mine because I'm just doing this for what we're working on, but my website is you would put your website here. Okay, mine is Barber Bootcamp for Cosmetologists. We also have barberbootcamp.net. Okay, but for this purpose, I'm gonna use Barber Bootcamp for Cosmetologists. And we're going to go down. Now we got addresses here. Here are, my, here are different addresses. All of these are my, the different various businesses uh, that these come out of. Okay, you'll, you'll load yours in and it'll load it for you. Uh, so there's nothing to even add. You just check the one. All right, next is sender's name, okay? So the sender's name is going to be, what do we call this, test list, right? So test list is going to be the sender's name. Now for you, it would go, it would go yourbarbershop.com, whatever that, is, whatever your um, name is and if you don't have a website you still can do this okay i'm gonna show you how to work around that with uh, a few few things on this as well but let me show you this okay so sender's name test list okay sender's email is info at barber boot camp for cosmetologists now you can load in multiple ones okay now all right now let me show you something you want to have an email that has, notice this one is info at Barber Bootcamp for Cosmetologists. This one is Lou at barberbootcamp.net. You want to have an email that is connected to your site. Here's why. If you put a Gmail in there, if you put a Yahoo in there, what's gonna happen is the algorithm is gonna think that you're trying to spam someone, okay? And it's probably going to put some of your stuff in the in the um, spam folder 
It's going to put it in the uh, uh, promotions folder. It's going to put it in those types, social, all that kind of good stuff. We got Gmail, those apply there. Okay, so next step. All right, what would you like to name your list? Okay, now this list we're going to call it, since it's test list, okay, we're going to call this test list for uh, new users, okay? Maybe you're not used to this, okay? So we're gonna be test list for new users, okay? And briefly describe an e uh, what the emails are going to entail. So for this example, this will be tips and tools to learn to automate Your business because that's what we're going to be doing okay so now you have that all right next step we're not you see how slow it's not it's not anything big right okay everything's going well uh, no big I'm telling you a lot of people just don't realize it's kind of intimidating but if you work your way through it and just get a little help you can do it by yourself that's what I did okay next step boom Next step, we want it in English. It can apply in any other language, okay? So it'll fit where you are, who you're dealing with, you can use Spanish or whatever, okay? Next is your subject, subject line, all right? Now, this is designed, this is pre-done. Notice the drop-down, okay? All this is, is, is loading in. We have a two-step system uh, in our system, and that's what this is. Aweber provides you with this. Aweber... This is a Aweber two-step system. Now, here's the thing. What happens is the person signs up. So you have, you have something out there. You'll have a form, which we're going to create. You have a form. That form is out there, and they sign up on the form. That form is going to, once they hit submit, now they're going to get a pop-up that says, hey, we're not done. Go and uh, go to your email, okay? and check that because we just sent you something and just confirm okay now this is important because you want them to do that because that's how it's going to end up in their real inbox and not in social not in promotions and any of that other stuff so it's a little cumbersome yes but if you want to really if people are serious and they want to take the product then they are going to go ahead and make that second step okay so let's move on so confirm your subscription i'll leave it at that some of these kind of a little aggressive if you ask me for example response requested please confirm i would leave it something very nice you, you mean you just met these people it's like you know you're creating a new relationship right it's a business relationship you don't want to be too forceful you, you want to be and sometimes you don't want to do it too upfront like first name confirm you don't know them like that yet <laughs> so i just leave it at the, the one that is set on which is confirm your request okay this is what it looks like okay uh, it's very simple, just like this. And confirm my email, and they're just going to hit that button when they. Are, when this is going to be in their email, email, and they're going to just hit that button, confirm. Okay. So now we can edit this content if we want. Let me show you that. You can go in here, and you can, for example, you can say now here, I might do this. This is a good. Excuse the plane. I'm outside. Okay. So I'm going to make it say. Thank you, and their first name. Now, I do know them a little bit, okay? Because here's what has happened. They saw my ad, they saw my sign-up sheet. They made the first step. This is the second step. So I can call them by their first name because now I'm, I'm beginning to build a relationship with them, okay? So now I will preview it, okay? And it's gonna say, thank you. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change that up. No. I like to be more personal. We appreciate you, you joining us. There you go. Now, you put your own personality in there. You're talking to these people. And if you're a hairstylist or a barber, uh, it's going to be a little bit more relaxed because we have a, a different relationship with our clients. We become really friends to our clients in a lot of different ways. We were counselors and all that kind of good stuff. So it's a, it's a, it's a more in-depth relationship than average situation. So what I would do is I would make it a little bit more personal or personable in this 
sense. So what I'll say is we appreciate you joining us. Okay, we appreciate you joining us. Okay, good. Now let's preview that. Okay, thank you, first name. We appreciate you joining us. There you go, I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna approve message and create list. Okay, so now we got a list, okay? Now look up here at the top, see? Boom, our list is up here at the top now. So test list for new users. That is this list, okay? So now we got the main, and the first step and the main step because we have to have somewhere to put these nice new emails that we're gonna get from these people, okay? So we have um, test list for users. We're gonna take that. Now, what do we do now? Okay, well, we got two more steps that we gotta do. Step one is we need to create a opt-in because they need to be able to get on this list, right? So how do they get on the list if they don't have a way to get in? So that's the first step, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what do we gotta do? It's a CRM. You're supposed to communicate through emails with the people with this vehicle that we're creating, right? So the next step is I'm gonna show you how to create an email, okay? And then we'll do a broadcast, okay? Which is one and the same. So let's go to the next step. Next step is let's create us a sign-in form, okay? And let's cool and let's see. So what we're gonna do, we're back now at the dashboard, see account dashboard, all right? We're gonna go to sign up forms and we're gonna create one for this, okay? Sign up forms, okay? Come right here and we're gonna create sign up form. Boom. All right, we load that. Now, it gives us a number of different options here, okay? Now, let's, let's start here at the top, okay? Popular, boom. These are some popular versions, okay? And you scan through these, figure out what you like, okay? You can you can do something like, let me just pop one in there, see? You get to choose different colors too, see? It'll change color like that, okay? Let's go here. This one has a different look. They're just different looks and different templates is what this is, okay? All right, some of them have other uh, color schemes that you can use, some don't, okay? Some are very simplistic, which, Honestly, I, I like to take the simplistic one and then add to that versus uh, starting with something with a lot of stuff all up in there that I have to be have to move around and do a lot of work with. Okay, I like this one here too. See this one? This one's kind of cool to me. I like the red color. I like orange too. So maybe something like that. This one is 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 basic, but I still like this one. Okay, because you can match up your colors. Okay. Boom, there's my orange again. I'm a, I like orange, oh, I like that one better. Okay, so now you got this. Some of them you can even put pictures in. See here, you can put your nice little picture down there. You got different versions of it. So, okay, and here's another one, all right? All of these do the same thing in, the, in a nutshell, okay? You can create your own, okay? You can have different versions here. These are all the corporate ones. I like to stay in most scenarios with something corporate, very minimalistic. You don't want to overwhelm them with all the extra stuff, but some of these are just so cool. You got to do them, especially if they fit into your niche. Okay. For example, look at this. One, okay. This is cool. I like this. One. All right. In fact, if you got a date going, that would probably be awesome. Okay. So let's go back. I'm going to go here and let's do a basic one. Here we go. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna do basic because I want to keep this simple, and then we'll do the. I'll do the other part for the next video so that you can go and have upgrades with it. Okay. So let's get let's stay basic. Now this is the basic one. Okay. Simply loaded it in. Okay. Now everything's here for us. Right. Now the first thing I tend to do when I get in here is one. If let's say you wanted to add an image, you can come here, hit that, and image gallery so you can click well, for, well let me do this i like my stuff centered so center it and now as we import the picture it's going to be centered okay so these are just a few you can put your logo there if you want for example you can do that this is my logo okay for boot camp all right and you can take this and you can size it too okay so you don't it doesn't have to not remain that size you can break that down um, and 
We can remove that. Okay. Next. So I do like to put a banner across mine at times. So let's look and find a banner. Okay. Yesterday I did a free class, right? You could put that there also. Okay. Matter of fact, let's do that. I got it. There we go. CRM class. Boom. Okay, now this is actually cut for Instagram, okay? That's why it's in that square shape. Okay, next step. I like that. Let's leave that there. Okay, I'm going to probably move it up top, but we'll move it in a little bit. Now, next, let's do this. We're going to click here, okay, on name. Now, when we click on name, I like to do this, okay? See right here? It's collect name as, and it's full name and first name, last name. I like first name, last name because it allows you to call them by their name and make it more personable. So I make sure I get that. Email is always, of course, going to be locked in. Okay. Now, I mentioned earlier about in my business, I travel across the country. So I need to know where they are. Okay. Now, you see where I'm at here on the left? You click right here on U.S. address. All right, it's going to add all of those in. I don't want all of those. Some of these will be pertinent to whatever you're doing more specifically, right? You might need the full address. I don't. And and in this day and time of identity theft, I honestly would not ask for an address. That might be a little bit too personal for most people at this point. Okay. You can, if you're, let's say, for example, you have a barbershop. Okay. A barbershop you might want to know the zip code that they're in. Maybe you're trying to do a new location so you could see where your people are traveling from based off of zip code and you will know where to go with your next location. Or if you see certain zip codes popping up on a regular basis, then you know if you're gonna do ads, your ads can target that zip code specifically or that city specifically, okay? That's one example. Me, I don't need to know the city. I don't need to know the zip code. However, I do need to know the state because the state is where I'm shooting. Okay. Okay. Is that one off? Okay, so the state is what I'm shooting for. Okay. Now, I'm going to save field. Boom. Now that's saved. I have the information that I want. First name, last name, email, state. That's what I want. Now, Another thing, I got all the things I need. Now let's work on this a little bit cosmetically, okay? No need for that. Okay, so here we go. We have first name, last name, email, state. This is not as wide as I would like because when I use it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be its own little page. So when a person clicks on the button, it's going to say, to say yes, I would like to sign up. It's going to pop up on their phone in a whole new page. I'm gonna make this with I usually like to go between four and 500, okay? That's where I like to stay with mine. I spread the width so that way they're looking at it wider on their page, okay? Border name. Now, here's the background color. Would you like to change that? You can go any way you want to go with it, okay? Boom, okay? You can go all kinds of colors. Pick whatever fits your taste is what you use, okay? I choose to use mine lighter, okay, so that people can see what they're looking at okay so let me get that dark blue out of there boom and let's go to something a little lighter hmm. i don't want such a boring one though let's go here okay okay that's bright a little bit too much but okay okay boom. that green they definitely gonna see that okay so now let's do that Image gallery, we got that. Okay, so what all do we need? Okay, text, if you want to add some text, if you want to put a little divider and put that picture we were talking about, you can utilize that, okay? If you wanted a header in here, you can do that, okay? Put link, submit button, okay, so boom. Now, if I wanted to change this button a little bit, right, I could do this and I could change from submit to join. Uh, sign up now or just examples okay save okay let's see what else we want to do here's our button look I like a green button because a green button seems to make people want to buy quicker okay 
I don't know what that is, but you got to remember there are psychographics too. So certain things make people want to make that purchase. Just like, I'll give you an example. In grocery stores, I read this one time, grocery stores will go out and spend a lot of money on buffing out the floors, right? And the reason that they spend this money is because it makes people want to spend money. A shiny floor in a in a in a grocery store, somebody, some psychiatrist decided that that makes people spend a lot. Same reason they put the cereal, the best cereal, on the lower levels because the kids can see it and go grab it and bring it to you. Okay, okay, here we go. Now, I'll put links folder header. Okay, so form type. Okay, we can go in there. All this stuff is good. We're do we're good there. And we have this little basic form. I'm not really feeling this background right now. Though. I'm gonna, that green is getting on my nerves. Okay, so let's go to body. Let's go back out of this. And let's just go back to simple white. There we go. Maybe a little bit of gray to it. Not too much gray. Okay. Clean is so they can see it, but not ostentatious. So that it runs them off. How about that? Okay, so here we go. Boom. Simple, plain, go. Save our form okay now we're saving it okay now make sure you do that because if not it's going to bring you right back to it trust me okay so now the form is saved this is our form this form will deliver people to our list that we just created okay so next we're going to go to step two okay step two is we're going to name our form okay and this is our test list form Okay, now let's talk a little bit about this. Now, the forms can take people back to the same location, which is our test list for new users. Okay, you might want to take them back in various ways. Example, if you are a barber and you're out walking around and you know, somebody's hey man, you got a nice haircut. Well, I'm a barber. Oh, yeah. Well, let me, uh, where you at? Let me put you on the email list and I'll shoot you our digital card and, and our information or my website, you name it, whatever it is, okay? So now you take your phone, turn it around to them. It has this form on it. The same form that we just built, it has it on it. Let them fill it out. Now, guess what? No misspelled words. They wrote their name, they got the name, email address, phone number, that's optional, phone number, and the other information that you need all right now just went from your phone into your list or simply text it to them and allow them to do it on their own time. Either way, it's going right in. But you didn't acquire that customer online, for example. You acquired that customer from guerrilla marketing is what that is because that's a card and you're walking around and you're talking to them directly that's a different type of client because you had a different interaction you might want to separate those just as, as our example here so what i would do is i might have clients i got online clients i met personally two different groups we would tag those and they would go into the same pool being our main list here test list for new users but one would be tagged online group one would be tagged in person group got me okay so now next step is our basic form okay form name we just created that test list form is what we're going to call it all right next your thank you page now here's how this works let me give you a preview boom this is what happens when they click the button submit or join us now What's going to happen is you're going to see this. You're almost done. Activate your subscription. We've sent you an email that contains our confirmation link. Okay. So that's what I just described earlier. They're going to go back to their email. They're going to click on confirm. We've already built that part. And therefore, they're locked into our system now. And the system knows, and your email, their email, Google, Yahoo, provider knows that they want to get the information from you. They're asking. Now, evidently, they send them something, say, hey, these people are okay. 
Now, so that's what they get, all right? So next, we're gonna go back to our main page here, and let's talk about the next version, okay? Now, they, there are various versions that you can have. This was our basic version. Our next version is audio version. Now, I haven't used this really, to be honest with you, but uh, I know about the smart video version, and you can actually make your own little video and put that up there. Hey, don't forget to go to our ba 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 like that, okay? Custom page. This one I use, okay? Now, let me show you what happens here. Okay, so custom page, it gives you a URL, okay? And then you go to that URL, all right? New page, okay? So I'm just gonna go and give you the example that I have, okay? So my website is Barbara Bootcamp for Cosmetologists, and it would be thank you confirmation is what I'm looking for. That's what I call it. Now, you can just call it thank you uh, on your site or whatever, however you wanna run that, okay? Now, this is what it looks like. This is my personal version that I created. I just welcomed them in. Okay, thank you for joining Bob Luke Camp email list. Yada, yada, yada. You can reach us here. But look, stop. Please check your email. We just sent you a confirmation email. See, now, now it breaks down what they're doing so they know why they're going through the process of having to go through one step, two, this two step, and won't get you know, dissatisfied and go and like, okay, I don't want to finish this up. Okay. It's real simple, but I think I thought that it would be a more personal touch if I gave them the information instead of that giving them the information. Okay. So you can take that and what you would do, you would take and paste that link here. Okay. So go back here, copy your link. Okay. Let's copy the link. Copy the link. Oh, yeah. Okay. Copy. Okay, go back here. And you'll simply just place that link here. But on this one, I'm going to need to take that out because it's already adding the HTTP from the link that I copied. So I don't want to have that in there twice. Watch out for that. I've done it before. Okay. All right. And now we have that. Okay. Pretty simple, huh? Okay. So next is if they're already subscribed. Now, if they're already subscribed, it will give them a generic version, just like we just saw. I'll leave it at that, okay, because they're just going to know now, oh, okay, I forgot I signed up already. If not, you could actually go through and make you a page for that as well. I chose not to do that. Okay, so now save your form first. Okay, and now let's go to step three. Guys, we are already done with this, okay? It's done. It's done. Watch this. So now let me explain first. Okay, who will publish this? Okay, so if you're going to do it and you're on your own website, you can simply copy this one, your HTML code from this, and post it into your website, and it'll just appear as a page, okay? If you're not doing the work, someone else is doing the work, and you want to send it to your web designer to do it, then you would simply use this one, okay? The third one is the one that I'm going to use here. This makes the form its very own landing page. So if you don't have a website, okay, even if you do, I use this one all the time. I prefer this one to be honest with you because it takes them, it creates its own page and I mean, makes it simple. Okay. And when, or, and also you can connect this straight to a button. So if you have a button on your website that says, go here, you can simply hot link this to the button and it will take them right to it, okay? Watch, let me, let me go here, all right? I'm gonna click this, it copies everything, okay? Everything is copied. Now, well, no, it, it's, uh, it copied it. I'm gonna copy it now, okay? And now let's look at what it, let's, let's go looks, let's go see what it looks like, okay? Hit here, boom, create me a new page, boom, come here, paste, Okay, there it is. Okay, now, enter. See what we look like. Bam, there's your simple form. We just created this, okay? You can come here. It has all your states, okay? Look, the work is done for you. Now you have the first name. If you already have it pre-done, you can simply do that. Everything is good. It's, I'm gonna hit it because you need to test all your work, okay? Hit it. Now we're signing up now. It gives them notice where it took us. 
it took us to my form, not their form, okay? Here's our little stoplight, remember that, okay? So now what has happened is the process worked, okay? It works. So now we know that we've created our list, we've created our thank you page here, okay? So that when they hit submit, they get a thank you page, and now what happens here? Let's go to that email and see what happens, okay? Because I want you to see the full process so you know, and you need to test this, okay? Because you don't want to just send it out to people and it's not been tested, okay? So now, let's go here, refresh, and here we go. Test list, okay? And look here, okay? Please check your, click the email button to confirm, just like we showed earlier, right? You're gonna click, look, okay, here's the part we were talking about, okay? Thank you, Lewis. We appreciate you for joining. So please click, click the button below to confirm that you'd like to receive, e receive emails, see, from, and here's your list, test list for users. So we want to make sure that this says what you want to say. So Billy's Barbershop, for example, or Sarah's, you know, beauty supply, that type of thing. Okay, confirm my email. Thank you, Lewis. It's gonna call them by their first name. We see that now. We appreciate you joining us. I do like that, okay? Test list for Zoom is the list that we're on, okay? It will be your company when you do it for you, that type of thing. Billy's Barbershop will be what lies right here, okay? Now, click confirm and boom, we are confirmed, okay? That part is now done. Okay, so let's go back to Zoom. So we've done two steps now. We, first step, we created our list. Our list is test list for new users. We've also created a form. So now people can actually sign up for a form. So there's a third step because now that you got them in, you got to email them, okay? Sending them your first email, okay? Now, there's two ways to do that. So I'm going to always go back to dashboard when we're working with Aweber so you can start from the very first page, okay? And I love this stuff. Look, it tells you how many people were at. Look, 38 people were added yesterday, three today, okay? So it keeps you up with what's going on, by the way. Okay, so now let's go over and let's work on an email, okay? Now, let's pull it out here. Okay, so here's your subscribers, by the way. Let me let me let me pause for the calls here for a second. Let's go look at the subscribers that we have for this. This is test email, right? We have one subscriber. Boom, me. There you have it. Okay. Now you can export this also and use this. It'll export it into a uh, Excel spreadsheet where you can put it. You can load it up somewhere else. You can put it in your phone. You can load it into your Google. You can do all kinds of different stuff with it. Okay. But remember always to look up here to make sure you're on the right one. Okay. So now. We want to send this guy an email. Okay, so let's go over here to messages. Now we can go, well, let's go back to dashboard. Okay. okay, back at dashboard, let's go down a little bit here. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Okay, step one is you can just simply create a message right here. All right, now you can, I usually use the drag and drop system. That makes it very easy. Plain text will just make it look like it's text only and like a letter, okay? And HTML does a whole lot of other cool things. We'll get into that in a deeper, in a deeper depth level, okay, later, okay? Uh, but what I tend to do is this. I'll go to drafts first instead of just creating a message because once you put it in drafts, once you go to drafts, then you can create message here and then we can do the drag and drop system okay click on that drag and drop it's going to pull this up okay so now you would simply just put your information in right here you're going to need a header okay got a header up there right and that's going to tell you that's your subject of your email and then you're going to come in and put the body hey haven't seen you in a while mary Jo. Okay, come see us. We're gonna have some specials after this after this quarantine is over. And here are the specials. Oh, also, you can go over here and let's check this out. We can check out some templates. 
Okay, no need to, because it can be kind of daunting to look at a blank sheet of paper and you've never done this before and it'll make it look like it's bigger and harder to do than what it really is. So let's come over here and let's just use some of these simple templates, okay? Here's, I'm just gonna scroll down so you can see what they're looking like, okay? All right, some are very simplistic, some have a lot more stuff in them. You can use it how you want it, okay? I like something kind of simple. Okay, so here we are. Here's our basic uh, setup here. It has the elements already dropped in for us, okay? Now, we can come here and drop an element, okay? So what kind of element do we want to drop? We want to drop an image? Okay, let's click on image, okay? See, we have this highlighted, right? We're going to grab image and just drop that puppy right in there, okay? Now, once we do that, move this out of the way. Okay, once we do that, let's look through the image gallery. You may have your own images, which you're very much welcome to use, but let's go on here and figure out what we're going to use on what they have, okay, just for this particular test here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what are we going to use here? We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got a search up here. So we're going to deal, we're dealing with mostly hairstylist stuff. So let me see. Let me put hair style and then search oh no hairstyles huh okay so let's do hair salon there we go hair salon okay Oop. a lot of people doing this here you go this is a perfect one right here because we're going to use it for this example <laughs> i got a good idea okay so we're going to come here to the bottom right See these two arrows? It's gonna do just like this, and all you gotta do is hold down your clicker there and shrink it down to where you wanna do it, okay? I got a great idea. Okay, so since we're dealing with quarantine, right? So we're gonna use this. So now we have a picture. Let's build around the picture, okay? Maybe come here and let's drop a headline in. Guess what the headline is going to say? Is this you? Because it looks like she is cutting it herself. Okay? That's what I would do. Find a picture of somebody cutting their own hair because there's a lot of people trying to do that. And actually, this is somebody else's finger, so no, she's not trying to cut it herself. But it looks like that And when I first glanced it. So that's what we're going to say. Is this you? Okay. And what we're going to say, what are we going to say here? So, hi, first name. I like that. Thanks for being a loyal customer. Okay, now this is just me just coming up with some stuff off the hip, okay? We appreciate your business. We appreciate you. And that is why. Breaking up sentences, yes, but this is just what I want to say. Okay, we appreciate you, and that is why we have new specials. Okay, okay. Those for no for our clients. Okay, I mean out of quarantine. We are offering, let's say what, offering a 15% discount. Now, you don't have to offer this. I'm just simply giving you some framework so you can see how this will work, okay? All right, and you can put you a divider in if you want to add something else. I don't like the dash one, so I tend to make them solid and simply click down to one because you don't want that fat line uh, in there. I don't like that one, okay? So now, I'll give you just some basics here. Okay, if you want to drop a coupon in, you can do that. Okay, here, 
Well, they went up to 25. We can come back to the 15 that we described, okay? And this will be in-store purchase on products, okay? Well, they don't have to be you know, online purchase of products. Any or any online, because we are online these days for any online purchase, okay? So I'm just giving you some examples, guys. You can figure out and put what you like, but let me just roll down what we have here, okay? So if you want to write a paragraph like this, you will simply grab this, drag it here. It's going to show you where it's going to drop it, and you just let it go, okay? Now, if they want to write an article, they can do that. It'll put a little, allow you to put a little small picture in it. Here's one that they might use, okay? Uh, this one is, oh, no, not image. I didn't want image. I want button okay so let's put a button in here let's go ahead and say you want to buy something online good buy now <clears throat> so we're going to come here we're going to click on our button i like a green button for some odd reason green seems to make them want to buy quicker okay now i'm going to come here and align my button in the center because i want it sitting over to the left okay these are very simple little things that you can do. And if you don't have a website, this thing is awesome because look, you can put your product here online. Simply grab that, drop it in, put a picture of your product, name your product, put a description of your product. How much is the product? Boom, click on that, put that in, and you can link it to a number of things. It can be uh, PayPal, it can be all kinds of things. And you can link the cost right there and they can click that button and it will literally charge them for that product right there, okay? Now, okay, let's go back over here. Now you can also drop a video. Some of you guys, I mean, especially hairstylists and barbers, we all have, we have some great personality guys out there, okay? So you can, if you have a YouTube page, you can simply go make your video and talk to them. You don't have to put that picture. You can say, hey, I know you're out there struggling right now. We are too. We miss you more, okay? You can drop your video in right there and boom, you can talk to them in, in that way, okay? Simple as grabbing video. Where is that video? Okay, put it where, now it's gonna show you where it's gonna go. See the line, let it go, okay? Now here is where you would drop your video URL. So wherever, what your, when you go to your YouTube, okay? You would just grab that YouTube uh, URL and you would paste it right here, okay? Also, you can online it, usually it's center here, so that's good, and do it just like that, okay? I'm gonna pull them out of that, okay? You can, you can look, you can, get your following up you can add that in okay it adds all three or four of them in right there if you want to do that okay all kinds of good stuff that you can add and share you can add a share button so they can just click one button and share you okay these are the things that you can do okay you can change your background color i don't really want to change it but let's see i don't know why i keep coming up with these crazy colors okay so here here we are okay here's that green i like and you can change that okay now save all right, let's do a preview and test this, okay? I'm going to send it to my other one. Let's see here since it's already open. Let's go here, okay? It's, it has my name already pre-included, okay? It will also give you a mobile preview. Ah, that's, that's something. Look at what it looks like, okay? Mobile-wise. Now, we're going to send us a test. I always suggest that you test first because you don't want people to get something that you don't want them to have. Now, I did not put a subject in, so it's not going to include a subject, by the way. Okay? Now, let's go back to our website, our email. Okay, so here's our test. Now, it has both of them lined up in here. I guess I had to send one to push the other one through. Okay, so now, here's our test list. Okay? And this is what it looks like. Okay? This is what the, this will be the email that your client gets. Now, I don't like this green on this green like this, okay? So that lets you know, please, please, please test, test, test because, and I also would prefer that this not run all the way to the edge like that, okay? So these are the two things that I would see that I would go back and fix. Now, let's go back and do something, all right? Okay, now go back here and let's go back, back to editor, top right, okay? Now, I'm going to dress it down like I normally would because I want this to be clean and pristine. You can put just a little gray in there for a little contrast, but clean and white 
it's clear and it looks more like an email, you already have the picture or video that you're going to add. So that kind of speaks for itself. That's what makes it pop. I would, I did do that. I would choose to apply. I would choose to come here and separate this down a little bit, okay? Because I don't want that so close up under that picture. So I'm gonna move that down slightly, okay? That was only one hit the return one time, that's two times. I'm gonna go one time, I think that's enough, okay? And you can move this in a little bit and if you wanna make an indentation, if not, just move it back, okay? We have it personalized by their name that's already in. If you wanted to make a link in here, for example, uh, let's see, let's see here. Uh, join, let's, okay, I got a good idea. Here's one. Join us, give it one beat there. Join us for our client Zoom cafe, okay? Stay in touch with them. Hey, you like talking to them. These people are not just random people off the street. Talk to them, okay? Let's say you wanted to do a Zoom and include all your clients because you're missing them. It's a miss me party. How about that? <clears throat> okay, we're going to call it the Zoom. Miss my client. Miss my clients. Cafe, okay? Now, boom. You can take that. Go right here, let me find it. Here you go, right here, see this? This will link it, okay? Boom, it will link it. Now you can link it to the Zoom meeting. You can link it to simply their email to say, hey, join by email, by emailing us that you want this. So let's say here, let us know that right here, here's your email address. I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna just put one in, okay? Here's the email address. Subject is, uh, join us for this event. I'm just gonna say that. We're just, we just described it as the Zoom Cafe. So you can say this, you can say, for our Miss My Clients Cafe. We call it we Zoom. Zoom's getting a lot of props right now, huh? <laughs> Zoom miss my class cafe. I'll just give you an example, people, okay? So here, you can put a message in the body, but look, okay? It will send, they can send that, and that will, might be their confirmation, for example. Just kind of give you some examples to use, okay? So now, we're gonna save this. We made our, our changes. Let's do a preview and test, because test, test, test. And this time, let's say, Okay, we're going to call this the quarantine roll call because I'm pointing like that. Okay, and let's send us a test and see how this looks now. Okay, see it's on the way. I'm going to give it a second. That's the old version. Let's jump out of that. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Test list email is what it's going to say. So Sally's Beauty Shop, okay, it's the quarantine roll call. Is this you? Boom. Now we have our email, okay? It calls us by name. It allows us to join with a, a quick hot link, okay? All right. And then you actually have your 15% discount for your products right here. You can click there for this, okay? See how, and it doesn't it look much more professional? Okay, now you wanna design this the way you want it to be designed, but I just want you to see what you can do with this. Now, you do this, let me, let me click on this so you can see what that looks like too. So I'm gonna click on that. It gives me the email already there with the header already intact, okay? This is what that does so that they can sign up, okay? Click here, we haven't made this button hot yet. Now this button will be hot linked to a button that says, uh, you can go make a button on your PayPal, so buy this product, boom, it will send them right there, okay, in another page. All right, so now, we'll do that a little later, connect all the above. Okay, so let's go back. So now, let's look at what we got, guys. We have, save, okay, and I'm on exit. Okay, so let's, let's summarize what we have created today. We have created our list 
number one, we have created our opt-in page or our, uh, it's, this is to gain our people's emails, okay? So this is opt-in or our form. So now we've created our form, all right? Now, third, we just created a draft of the email that we're gonna send out, okay? So now we have all three of those things. What's next? Send that email, okay? So now we can go here and let's click on sending options. Now you can schedule a broadcast or you can add to a follow-up series, okay? Follow-up series we'll go into later. That's a part of the funnel that I mentioned earlier, okay? So now let's go to click on, we're gonna click on send options. Okay, and in doing so, we're gonna schedule a broadcast. Now, with MailChimp, it's different. This is our AWeber, and I'm gonna break this one down for you, okay? Now, do you want to share this message? What do they mean? You can link this to your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, and what will happen is, when you send this email, not only will you send it via uh, email to the people that you're sending it to, it will put a copy up with a URL to it on your social media if you prefer. That's a good option sometimes. Saturation, right? Next, who should receive this message? Well, I want it to go to all the active subscribers on this one, but it doesn't have to. And it gives you a choice of which list, see here, that you are choosing to send it to so that you can pick the right list and get the right people, okay? And you would simply just click on that and it will allow you to choose a different list if you want it. We're on the right list already here because as you can see, we're on our test list here, okay? When should this message be sent? Well, here's the cool part. It doesn't have to, let's say you're, you're like me, okay? I'm up late at night, two, three o'clock in the morning. You can't send somebody an email two or three o'clock in the morning, okay? So I'm going to schedule this and this one is immediately, I would schedule it. This is the cool part. It will allow you to schedule this when you want it to go, okay? And I'm, on, I'm, I'm in California, so we're on Pacific time, okay? So you can choose the day at the time, and you would change the time here, okay? I usually like to do my stuff here on Pacific time. I will do it uh, at 10 a.m. Okay, somewhere in and around there, 10 a.m. or I will do it 7 p.m. Okay, the reason that my reasoning is if I'm reaching somebody on Pacific time, they I don't want them this email coming in where they're in the hustle and bustle of going to work in the morning. I don't want it during drive time because they're not going to be able to read or they definitely should not be texting, reading text while they're driving to work in the morning by 10. They've gotten to their desk, they've gotten to the shop, they've drank their coffee, they're, they're chilling out for a second, and they're going back to check emails. It might come in right during that time so that they can go ahead and get it and check it out, okay? That's what I do with mine, okay? You don't have to do that. Okay, so now I'm on today. I'm gonna go and go ahead and do it immediately because this is just a test for us. So I'm gonna come out of this and cancel but I just wanted to show you that aspect. So I'm going to leave it on immediately right there, okay? Now, do you want tags, okay, automations? Now, here's the deal. Tags, you can, you can then tag these, okay, or you can even remove tags, okay? So in this sense, going back to my earlier analogy of a person that I, I gained their email online, and then there's a person that I gained their email uh, personally, one-on-one -on -one contact, I met you. These are two different groups and they would actually be marketed to slightly different. So in that case, I would tag this one online and use that. And then I might tag it, the other one, when I'm meeting them in person, I would tag that in person and it will send all of them to one list, okay? Our test list, but it will give me the indication that this one came from here, this one came from there. Okay, click automations and subscriber clicks on the link. Okay, I don't wanna do any of that. I'm just going to apply here, okay? So that we know that it's about to go out. Subject is a quarantine roll call. Who am I gonna share it with? 
I'm not going to share it on Facebook because we're using it as a test. Uh, if we did, we'd simply click there and do so. You sh uh, who should receive it? All subscribers, because it's only going to me right now. Okay, when should this message be sent? I'm going to send it now immediately so we can take a look at it. Okay, and do you want any tags? Right now, I don't want any tags. Okay, and send message now. Are you sure you want to send broadcast? Yes, it's going to ask you that. And yes, I do want to send it. Okay, boom. It's sending it. Okay, so now you see it's still spinning here. Okay, that's probably not the program, it's probably my internet where I'm at because I'm outside today. Okay, right here. Okay, click on that because. That's how it does for some odd reason. Okay, we'll click here. Okay, so here's the email. All right, here's the email. Boom. This it does call my name. There needs to be a comma there. Okay, but is this you? I would separate this from the top, make it more beautified, if you will. Okay, but this is your email. This is how you build this. Okay, and you can make it as clean and concise as you like. This is very minimalistic because I don't want to go and you know. It, Everybody is has their own style and all that kind of good stuff. So use that to do this. And if you're a hairstylist or a barber, more than likely, you're kind of artistic anyway. So use those skills. Okay. Now watch this. I'm going to click here on Zoom. Okay. Let me just say, okay, sign me up. Okay, sign me up. up for cafe. Okay. And then I'm going to send my email. Now. Now it sent the email. Okay, so here, notice, of course it's coming from me. <laughs> so it would say the website though. It would say your your name on Zoom, okay? And then it's join us for our Zoom Miss My Clients Cafe. Sign up, okay? And boom, it will simply say sign, sign up for the cafe and let them know that, hey, I got it. And now this person wants to be in it. Okay, and then you would take that email, of course, and use it for your Zoom cast and sign and put them right in the, into the Zoom. Okay, we're gonna go back, we're gonna refresh, and okay, so here we have it. Okay, this is our quarantine roll call email. Okay, we see that it's been open. Okay, let's click on it. Boom, now it shows it's been open. Now, a lot of people don't know that you can tell that they opened it, <laughs> but you can, which is good for you, not for them, okay? So don't tell them because it might be a little creepy, okay? So now, here's the email that was sent. It was open, uh, no clicks, and no sales at this point, okay? So what you want to do now, what you want to do is this is great because if they have the link that I, I referred to, I, I referenced earlier, about your button for PayPal, then it would be right here, okay? So you would be able to use that PayPal button and it would show this in how much money you made, which is a good thing. Right now, this is no money being made. We need to get the money made, all right? So now you know how to do all the steps to go and get your basic Aweber. You can set up the account. You can create your list. You can set up your form so that you can receive emails. You can create a draft, draft email that is, and you can send out that email. How about that?